Hey everyone, Tony George, DocSports.com. Back at it after the holiday. Hope you all had a good July 4th weekend. Um, we're going to be talking about Chicago, Milwaukee for the free play. And just uh, a little hats off and tribute. Um, thoughts and prayers. And of course, uh, go out to the, the, the friends and family and all that were affected by the horrific uh, shooting yesterday in Highland Park, Chicago. You know, that's where Michael Jordan lives in that area. There, I'm well familiar with Chicago and the landscape there. Spent a lot of time there. And, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on in Chicago. It's just a huge open-air Nintendo game every single day. But at the end of the day, uh, thoughts and prayers go out to those affected. That being said, the PSA is over. And let's uh, go ahead and get to the business at hand. We'll tell you what's going on over the website and the Tony George podcast update as well. So uh, be sure and uh, stay tuned for that. That being said, today um, we had I had three games that we liked. This was one of them. Uh, we went with two of them. Um, only reason I didn't go with this game um, as a premium play is because there's two teams in Major League Baseball that just give me fits for or against. And I can tell you that the Kansas City Royals are one of them and the Chicago Cubs are the other. Where I'm for or against them, they beat me every damn time. Matter of fact, Royals beat me out of a seven-unit pick here not too long ago. So uh, I think my last seven-unit pick I had. So, mm, And that's my hometown team. That being said, because uh, you never know what you're getting with either one of them. It's just a mixed bag. You know, I think Kansas City is more consistently bad than what the Cubs are. And the Cubs have played a little bit better, especially offensively lately. Um, you look at their last five-game numbers, they got better numbers here than what Milwaukee has. But again, Chicago walk-off home run yesterday, loud, bullpen. And the one thing about Milwaukee is, and I did a write-up, I'm going to pull up some stuff from it since we're being all friendly, just taking a piss over a fence post, drinking a beer type deal. Uh, the Brewers have won six out of the last eight games, and they've won uh, three out of their last four home games. Um, they've been on a roll offensively. Um, if they can put up runs, Milwaukee's a tough team to beat, especially when they get into their bullpen. Um, they hit, and the one thing about this game is they hit right-handers well. And Hendricks, again, Hendricks, Kyle Hendricks, you never know what you're going to get with this guy. He's either good or he's bad, and there's no gray area. He's just not, oh, he's average. We can kind of count on him for, you know, five innings and not screw the whole thing up, giving up, you know, six earned and, you know, nine hits and four innings. we got to yank him, but he'll do it. Um, he struggled on the mound in his recent starts, giving up eight runs in his last three starts. He's only given up ten runs in three starts against Milwaukee this season. Um Put a lot of runners in scoring position. Look at those games in Milwaukee. Couldn't close the deal. It could have been a lot worse. But the Cubs, uh, although they've been playing well, they've lost seven out of their last ten on the road, including a heartbreaker yesterday. I watched with a buddy of mine at a hol July 4th holiday pool party um, who's a, just a huge Chicago fan in general. And uh, I think they're going to have a hard time scoring against the Brewers because uh, Alexander's pitched well for the Brewers. He's only given up 10 earned run in his last five starts. So, I just think the number at minus 130, you've got an inconsistent Cubs team on the road, to say the least. An inconsistent pitcher, a pitcher against a team that can light up a right-hander, and the number is only 130. So, I'm going to give a lean here, free play, on the Milwaukee Brewers at home tonight, 8 Eastern pitch. Um, to get over on the Chicago Cubs, uh, take two of them, take uh, two games in two days here. Over at the website, we got a doubleheader in Major League Baseball for you today, a seven unit card. And in the WNBA, we got a solid first half line play in one of the two games tonight. So be sure and jump on board over at Docs, free 60 bucks. Link in the description below. If you've never been a member, we'll park 60 bucks in your account. And you can utilize it on the website wherever you want to. On the Tony George podcast, Straight Up Sports Betting, uh, we've, this has been in development for over a year. I was planning on launching on the 12th. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait at least a week. 
Um, I've had a few logistical things, a few technical things, a few guest list things, um, a few sponsor things that have been uh, kind of uh, there in the midst of negotiation. And I'm not going to get this thing raring to go till it's finalized. So we'll keep that in mind and we'll keep you an update on when we're going to start this twice weekly podcast with some big time guests from the gaming world, outside of the gaming world, uh, more of a mainstream, satirical, kind of sarcastic look at things. Uh, kind of just straight up, just telling you the way it is, straight up. Not a lot of filter. You know, we're not going to be dropping f bombs or anything, but just not a lot of filter. We're going to give you some strong opinions, and uh, and we're going to give you some winners, some free plays, some angles to look at. Uh, bring on some guys with some different philosophies. I think it'll be a great, uh, uh, engaging, entertaining, humorous, and yet informative and money making investment of your time to tune in. And that's the whole goal. So we're taking our time and getting that ready. Doc Sports. Go get yourself a couple of winning cards today. Good luck with the Brewers tonight. Back at you on Wednesday.